John. This is uh, Marty Kokish. Welcome to Marty's Garage. Um, so today I'm back down at Norm's house again, and uh, we're uh, we're working on the front cross member. Um, having a heck of a time getting that uh, the rack and pinion off of here. So uh, Norm is is heating it up, and we're going to try to see if we can pull it out of there. So stay tuned. So we got one side done. Looks like. Uh, Heat was the missing ingredient that I didn't well, try. Plus you gotta... da 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 <laughs> Hitting the, the thing actually vibrates it loose. Nice. This is off. Hooray! What else do you need to take apart? Uh, everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a handy dandy spring compressor over here. Oh, this has to come out too, huh? You're having equal troubles with these? Well, I've got one side off, but I can't get it to pop out. That, I took the bolt off on one side already. That would be this side. <laughs> Smells really nice. Uh, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> well, something's moving. Starting to come out. Well, the ball's coming off. That's all. Oh, so. The <coughs> hmm. Which means we're basically breaking it. Oh. See, that's coming off. Okay. Okay, so we got the, the anti-roll bar off, this guy up here, so just kind of kick that out of the way, but um, um, during the removal I think uh, I'm going to need to replace this whole thing because the, um, there's a bolt that sticks in this ball and on the other side it uh, pulled out of the ball and on this side um, it came loose from the uh, bolt. So. Um, in order to get the bolt off, we had to, to cut it off with the uh, uh, angle grinder. So, but we got it off and, you know, worst comes to worst, I need to replace this piece. So, that's done. Now, uh, next step is uh, we have to uh, uh, try to get these uh, uh, springs out of here. So, uh, and then we can go ahead and dismantle the rest of the cross member. Uh, and I can start rebuilding the suspension. So, uh, be right back. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple ways to do it. One of them is you compress the spring and then you band it and put it in there and cut the bands. Uh -huh. uh, the other one is you have to basically get it this far and then squeeze the whole thing together, which is a lot easier said than done. That doesn't come out. Get that bolt off. It comes apart in two pieces. Okay, all done for today. Um, uh, 
Norm was a big help, and uh, we've got it. We got pretty much everything laid out here, but we've got that cross member and everything else taken off. Uh, now uh, uh, it's kind of kind of my turn to do stuff. Um, I've got to. Um, I still haven't really cleaned up that uh, rear axle yet, but uh, everything here is going to get a nice sandblasting. Um, well, maybe not the rack and pinion, but uh, uh, but this stuff for sure. Um, now that I've got it broken up and a little bit more portable, um, I'll probably find a shop locally here that uh, um, that uh, that sandblast stuff. Um, um, I had some shop do some. Uh, some of the I've got an old house, so I've got some antique floor grate things that that I had them sandblast, and I remember that being pretty cheap. So I can't see this stuff being too much more. Um, so I've got that going on for me, but uh, um, yeah, I don't know. It's really coming along, um, and uh, yeah. So I don't know. I just kind of right now I'm gonna pull out all the old. Uh, the bushings and stuff, these things in here. Um, it's gonna get fitted with new ones. Um, one thing I, one thing I forgot too is uh, the uh, the shock absorbers. I left those down there, so I'm gonna have to grab those sometime during this week. But uh, uh, that's not too big a deal. But when I was down there, I was playing with them just to see, um, you know, what kind of shape they were in or whatever. And uh, they seem really good. I don't think I'm gonna have to rebuild them or anything. And so it's just uh, same deal. Just clean them up and uh, give them a paint job. So cool stuff. Um, but other than that, um, you know, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any advice or feedback or anything, uh, go ahead and send it to Marty's Garage at uh, uh, gmail.com. And the this, this show is available on iTunes and the Zoom Marketplace. So.